Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Distant Worlds episode. This is episode five, and the last time we left off, we had pretty much started exploring a lot of our universe here. And we're going to all pause the game because we have a lot going on. So uh, we got uh, lots of exploration going on. This construction ship here is about to nab us this ship, or at least he's going to start repairing it. We'll kind of zoom in here and check that out for a second. So he'll start repairing that ship there and hopefully add it to our fleet soon enough. Uh, we have our ex exploration ships completed their missions, which I had queued them all up to go back to the spaceport so we can start retrofitting them in a bit. And how close are we to those hyperdrives? Yeah. Uh, or the warp field precursors. I keep saying hyperdrive, which is the next technology, but I mean, eh, pretty much the same thing. Uh, we're not very close at all. Oops. Resume playing. So that's what we're waiting on, or at least a lot of what we're waiting on right now, which is why I've got the game somewhat fast forward. So like I said, the beginning of the game is a little slow, but that's all right. What do we got for resources here? We definitely want to build um, a mine on this place right here. No doubt in my mind. What do we got? Some iridium. Very common, but it's used for high-end components. Yeah, iridium. Uh, lots of gold, lots of steel. Definitely a very, uh, very valuable planet. All right, mining ship heading up this way here. Our construction ship's about to hit this uh, big gas giant here. Just full, I mean, and I mean just chocked full of all sorts of gases. They're going to be really useful. So he'll get that gas mining station constructed for us. And uh, that's going to be extremely useful indeed. So I'm looking forward to having that. Well, that should make a big difference. Ooh, look at this. Look at this here. Holy crap. We definitely got to build a mining station on this planet next as well. So, Railgun Weaponry was just finished, and what do we have queued up next? Enhanced Missiles. I'm fine with that. Get some Enhanced Missiles. Now, I'm going to go through and uh, do the retrofitting for a lot of the ships once I get the Warp Field Precursors. Um, but until then, what do I want after Enhanced Missiles? Um, probably Enhanced Beam Weapons, maybe? Maybe not. Uh, point defense weapons might not be a bad idea. Or maybe I could start working on fighters or energy torpedo weapons. Boy, there's so much. Let's go for energy torpedo weapons after that. I think that'll be useful. How's this repairing going on down here? 37 components damage, so that's going to take a minute for him to repair all that. Uh, we do got to build something over here so we can start mining this... Uh, uh, Jacanta Ivory, and we actually have a lot of, uh, really good luxuries in this system. I think, let's see. Yeah, we have two luxuries on our home planet, which is awesome. Plus that Jacanta Ivory. Um, and I thought there was some more, maybe not. However, still, uh, definitely got to build a mining station here. I'm not going to queue it up yet, I don't think. How many construction ships do I have? Where is my... Ooh, polymere discovered. A new source of polymere has been discovered at our colony. Holy crap. How large of a source is it, though? If I can see the planet here. There we go. Not bad, 31%. I'm pretty sure it's a very common... No, it's common. Uh, electronic components, though, so it's actually pretty... Uh, it's a very commonly used resource. So, mining station constructed. The construction of our first mining station allows us to gather large quantities of valuable resources for use in powering the economy of our home world and building more starships. So, I won't go too much into details of that, but basically what's going to happen is this mining station here is going to pump uh, gas up from this planet and then our freighters can come over and haul the gas. And we should actually see somewhat of a boost maybe in our bonus income here if the, uh, if the private sector starts building some freighters but it doesn't look like they're going to do i have freighters is that something that i actually have state ships that's what i need here. or private ships that's what i want to see um i do have freighters as an option i'm gonna go through and do a uh, massive ship uh upgrade once i get these warp field precursors there's just really no reason for me to do it now uh, we're still slowly working on that. The crash course, of course, it would cost 88,000 credits. So obviously that's not anything within our grasp right now. Hmm. Population is growing at 7%. We're at 3.4 billion. I am close to running out of money here. So I might need to increase taxes just a little bit in a, uh, in a minute. Let's see if I can build a... Let's throw a uh, mining station on this planet here. So we'll just queue that up to be built. One of the construction ships, there he is. He'll start heading that way. 
um, because this is a pretty this plant's got such an abundance of different resources I mean we've got polymer uh, chromium carbon fiber which is usually uh, somewhat hard to find uh, just definitely uh, a good resource overall and there's actually a huge source of lead and iridium here which would be useful I think there was another planet that had some really good resources on it as well where was it this one not bad but not great what else do we got here um, cause the thing you gotta think about is, yes, I could go through and build mining stations on all of the planets I want to, honestly, but they cost, uh, cash flow, and I don't want to put mining stations on planets that don't have a lot of resources that are gonna basically pay themselves back. So, like, this is a good planet. Uh, lots of steel, lots of gold, lots of iridium. Gold is used for a lot of electronic components, so it's pretty much used in almost everything. Uh, gold is very valuable. More gold, more steel. Um, argon and helium, nothing I'm too crazy about right now. I do want to put something here just strictly for mining, uh, this ivory. Hmm. Alright, I'll keep everything moving through here. Enhanced missiles, looks like we reached a breakthrough with that and discovered it. So, we've got our enhanced missiles, now we're working on energy torpedo weapons. What do I want to come next after that? Let's go for, hmm. What do we got here? Don't think I want to go for uh, for fighters yet, just because uh, the only things that are going to have fighters is going to be my... Uh, I don't have the ability to put fighters yet really on my ships. I could put fighters on some of my ships, but if I want to have like an actual carrier that carries strictly fighters, uh, that's going to be a little bit later down the road. So I think I won't work as, uh, focus on that too much. Could go for point defense weapons, uh, which basically... Uh, shoots down enemy fighters, but I don't think I'll see too many fighters early in the game from other enemies as well. Shipboarding is something I probably should start working towards. Rapid fire projectiles. High density alloys. Mm. Yeah, let's go for high density alloys next. Um, that'll get us, uh, some better armor, which we can maybe, uh, maybe use. Everything's moving kind of slow right now. Still waiting for those warp field precursors. I've got the fastest uh, speed I can go. So it's pretty much as far as we're going. So I think what we'll do, while we're waiting for that to keep loading, is so we're going to start exploring these systems around us here. Uh, looking for potential uh, room for expansion. I think I want to expand somewhat. Let's see. Going to secure these systems here. Oh, these ones right here. Then maybe expand, uh, ex ex definitely expand to this gas field here. It's nice that we have a nice gas field here because that'll, uh, that'll give us the opportunity to get, uh, really pure sources of gas for our ships. And then maybe expand, I guess I'm just gonna start expanding into this corner here, kind of, or kind of grow out. Nah, I'm just gonna expand out it kind of outwards. Uh, we have a black hole there, but that's really, uh, that could either improve science or scenery. So I guess we won't know yet till we, head that way. What was that for? A new ambassador. Oh, we got a new ambassador. Interesting. So our first ambassador, uh, we don't know much about him yet, but that's going to help us hopefully ally with a couple other races who are aligned with us with our way of thinking, such as uh, destroying the entire galaxy. All right. We got a scientist, which he's just sitting right now at our, uh, our spaceport. Uh, Fleet Admiral, that's something I do need to start working on too, is improving my ships, uh, combat ships, but I, that won't be until we get the hyperdrives as well. So yeah, once we do get those hyperdrives, we're just going to be doing like a massive ship upgrading for everything, which is going to take some time. Ooh, uh, money. We're about to lose out on a lot of money, so hold on a second. Let me uh, change my tax here. Let's do uh, 8%. See if that puts us at least in the positives and we get some cash back for a bit. Find out. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully we'll get positives. Maybe, maybe not. Doesn't look like it. Oh, it hasn't gone through yet, though. And we got a new intelligence agent. No way, so we've actually got two intelligence agents. That's awesome. Let's put him on, uh... Where is he? Is this... Oh, they're both preventing enemy intelligence already. Alright. So hopefully... Oh, no, nope, I didn't mean to cancel him. Yep, counterintelligent. And hopefully we will uh, meet some other races at some point. Now, obviously, it's not going to happen until we get hyperdrives, but 
What were you doing? I was just exploring my planet. All right, then carry on. Has that 8% tax increase come through? It does not. Did I not? It did. Why is it not going? Oh, no, that's the population boost. So the 8% tax did go through, but it doesn't seem to have helped at all with the money situation. So let's just boost it up 16%. Kind of a large jump there, but wait for that to hit tick over, see if we don't make some uh, income. Yikes, minus 3,000. So we are definitely got a cash problem going on here. All right, we're going to raise it even more than that then. Uh, population still growing. Uh, I can always lower it once I make some money back, so let's go for uh, 24%. Might make us a little unhappy for a bit, but uh, we definitely got to deal with our money problem. I don't need to have a money problem this early in the game. So people are going to be a little upset, but that's alright. Uh, something we're just going to have to put up with. And bonus income starting to increase a little bit. I'm not sure why. I don't know if we're building anything. I don't think we are. Once we get everything retrofitted with hyperdrives and stuff and we start trading with uh, outside of our realm of the solar system here, then the money shouldn't be a problem anymore. Money early game is always somewhat of an issue because of building space stations and, and uh, building uh, gas stations and the such, getting your explorers out there. Um, how many explorers do I actually have right now? Where are my exploration ships? There they are. Okay, we've got three. Construction ships, we've got two, so that's fine for those. Not going to worry too much about that. Actually, now that I think about it, are we done with this? We are not yet, but when we are done with that, we'll end up retiring it, see if we can't get a tech boost. And we should be done with that soon. Energy torpedo weapons are finished. All right, and now we're going to be working on high-density alloys. And I guess we'll start working on improving our assault tactics. Alright, and that'll enable us to uh, that'll have our ground troops there be a little bit better at assaulting enemy planets. Something I won't be thinking about till far in the future, but I'll start working on it now. And we've got a new ship captain, and we've completed research in our medical systems. So that's actually extremely important because medical systems improve happiness, which is something we're going to need right now with our taxes a little high. So it's probably something I should have went for a little earlier. We should be working on crew systems next. And uh, we do have entertainment systems, which I also didn't notice. So real quickly, let's go into our, uh, not this screen. Let's go into our private bases here, or I'm sorry, our state bases here and a medium spaceport. Uh, definitely do a manual upgrade real quick. Actually, let me do a auto upgrade. See if it looks like there was something that needed to be upgraded. We'll just keep that MK2. Uh, we'll change it to a revision B. And we're going to throw on some... Uh, recreation centers, which will increase happiness. If you actually click on it there, you can see if I can, maybe not. Oh, show component guide. That'll help. Um, actually, doesn't really, I mean, I can learn about it here, I guess. Well, and further increasing happiness of your citizens. It's not putting a number on it, but. I, I forget what it is. I, I kind of know off the top of my head. All right, and the medical center will do the same thing. So it'll increase happiness. There we go. And I think that's the only thing I want to do. I could take some stuff off the lower um, how much it's costing us to maintain this. So it's costing us 2200 What if I removed, what do I have? Only 300 seals and 200, 200 armor. That's not a lot uh, anyways. What if I removed one of these? That eh, doesn't really save us that much. <laughs> I'll remove one of those though. Um, maybe one of the fighter bays. That really doesn't save us much either. Hmm. Alright, put the fighter bay back on. Energy collectors are technically saving us money because we're not burning through gas as much. Sort this by category, actually. That'll help me out. I'll sort this one by name. So where was that? Uh, what did I just take off? That high energy collector? But should be where to go. Energy collector. So we'll put that back on then, since that doesn't really help. So 240. Static energy usage 242. So I actually need one more. Yikes. Um, I'll take the extra hit for two for now. Alright, let's just save it like that. 
Um, I can't technically do the upgrade yet anyways until my cash flow is situated. So we're going to have to hold off. Uh, we're basically just waiting for those micro warp drives. But we did. Uh, it is going down a little bit more. So that's good. Where's our other construction ship? There he is. He's going to head over and build that uh, mining station there. Which is going to cost us a little bit of money. But that's alright. Actually, one thing I want to do. And I don't think I did do it. If I, if I go to uh, the stations here. Uh, and actually look at these. Yeah. I don't think I really want these seeking missiles on here. And the reason for that is because it's just costing me money and two seeking missiles as of right now is not going to make the difference between life or death for these stations. And so I'm actually going to take those two seeking missiles off because there's just absolutely no point in having them right now. We'll call it revision A. Let's actually change this to just gas mining station. Doesn't need to be the TAC one or anything. And then uh, same with this one. Let's uh, just do a manual upgrade. Uh, just mining stations fine. It's gonna be revision a mark two and we're just gonna pull these seeking missiles off Oop! Did I get them? Is that what I was doing? Yep. Okay Wait, I don't think I did let me cancel that real quick and redo that. I'm not sure what I just messed up there Yeah, seeking missiles. There we go change this back again revision a Mark two all right, and we'll save that Okay, and I do want to upgrade this one then. Oh, I probably will not be able to do that. Yeah, because I don't have the credits. So we'll just have to hold off. Till we start making the credits. Alright. So now we're doing what most distant uh, Worlds Universe <laughs> players do, which is playing the waiting game for our warp field precursor. Alright, our scientist is, uh, increases high-tech research skill. That's good. So that'll give us a little bit of a boost here. Which we're working on uh, target tracking right now. We already got countermeasures. Uh, let's work on proximity sensors after that. I think that'll be good. Maybe. Or, actually let's work on crew systems. And then proximity sensors. Yes. In that order. I think that'll be most useful. How is our planet looking? So only 1% growth. We've stalled growth pretty uh, pretty significantly. Uh, happiness is not that great right now. Uh, everybody's just kind of neutral about how they feel about us. I'm uh, going to increase that by 2% just to try to get a little bit more cash flow boost there. I'm basically just trying to hold out until our, our uh, warp field precursors jump in here. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, paying these pirates off is not helping either, but I don't have any way to fight them off. So, how's this ship doing? Three components damaged, so we've almost got that fixed. Once we do, we're definitely going to retire that. Try to get a little bit of a, uh, bonus for our research. Uh, 87% here, and I am going to run this episode a little bit longer just because, uh, nothing's really happened. And so there's no reason to cut it off as soon as we get these warp field, or even if we get these warp field precursors, I don't want to cut it off. Well, how are we sitting here? There we are. 14,000 credits. Obviously, we don't have the money, but we are almost done. 88% uh, complete. Just keep letting that run its course. There we go. The money situation is starting to balance itself out a little bit. That's good. There we go. We're up in the positives now, so that's even better. Um, I think that's because that pirate that came in here actually refueled on our station. Uh, and when they refuel, they pay us. So, uh, uh, abandoned ship, we're going to investigate it. Appears to be in good working order. We can disassemble it for advanced technology. Ooh, and we found valuable treasure worth 2,340 credits. Awesome. Definitely uh, pure luck right there. Let's, uh, he's, we actually got to wait for him to finish repairing uh, the... Actual uh, pop-up comes up before the ship is fully repaired. There you go. Military ship constructed. There you go. So that's our ship there. Uh, let's take a look real quick. I want to see uh, what he has. So, not bad at all. Uh, Talos shields, uh, swift vectors, shadow ghost ECM. Wow. Firepower of 100. Um, no hyper, unfortunately. Mega density fuel cells. This guy is equipped with all sorts of uh, really useful. Wow, with really useful uh, stuff. Long range scanner. Boy, I... 
costs 691 to maintain him. Um, kind of one of, let's see, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, you can go refuel at nearest refueling port, and then you kind of want to retire it for the tech boost, but at the same time, I, uh, I kind of want to keep it because it's a really good ship. And I can maybe even uh, contest the pirates with it. I'm not really sure what to do in this situation. Let's have him go to the home world since we do have the extra income right now. And we are about to pick up our... Uh, well, we are about to pick up warp fields. You know, let's just send him off to retire. And uh, we'll just pick up the, uh, the boost on uh, research. Because I think he's going to give us a really nice research boost with all of those... Uh, he has a lot more advanced components than we have right now. So, there we go. So, uh, whoa, our scientist has been pursuing the wrong path while researching Warfield precursors. <laughs> this mistake has set us back. You've got to be kidding me. Are you kidding? Wow. So, that just set us back a, a, a substantial amount there. Uh, all right, well, here's what I'm going to do then. I'm going to uh, cut this episode off here and then I'm going to research. I'm going to hang around and let it just research itself out because that was a, ex that was a, an absolutely uh, terrible hit on us there. That, that set us back pretty far and that's going to really hinder us. Uh, we're going to feel that effect for a while because there's going to be other races that are way more caught up now than we are. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to end this episode off here. I'm going to let the Warfield Precursor technology run through. Uh, hopefully nothing significant happens while I'm doing that, but I don't want to let you guys... It would literally take a whole other episode for me to go through that. So I'm just going to let it run its course, uh, and hopefully we don't have any other bad luck. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was a little slow. Promise it does pick up, and I'll see you next time.